Hi guys, so today I'll be doing an unboxing video of the newly released iPhone 6S. I'll show you a few different generations of iPhones, go through the live wallpapers, and I'll very briefly talk about the cell phone cases. Here are a few of the overpriced ones you can get in store with the cost of an arm and a leg. Even though I felt super shady recording in the store like this, I still did it. <laughs> what we have here is an iPhone 6S Plus in gold and 6S Rose Gold with the 6, 5, and another 6S Rose Gold. And since it's my dad's iPhone that came in the mail today, he'll be the one that's unboxing this phone in this video. So no, these man hands aren't mine. You can see my man hands like later. <laughs> but if you follow me on my cooking videos, you'll be totally familiar with my man hands. My god, dad, here are a pair of scissors. YouTubers don't have time for this. <laughs> First reaction, yay, shiny. And it looks like the phone I bought last year. <laughs> My dad would like to emphasize that this is still 128 gigabyte phone. <laughs> and turning the power on for the first time. And here comes the Apple logo. Loading, loading. Yep. And it says hello and hola. We swipe it to turn it on. This is the 6S in rose gold, the non plus one, smaller. Here's the iPhone 6S rose gold. And the iPhone 6 Plus in rose gold also, in case you wanted to compare the sizes together, they're both very pink. The iPhone 6 Plus in rose gold and regular gold. I just wanted to compare the 6s gold from this year and the 6 from last year. It really doesn't look any different at all. Same color, same size, other than the S on the back. Just trying to figure out how to organize all these phones, they all look alike, and I can barely tell the difference between just but just by looking at them. The first three are six S's and the last two are like the six from last year and the last last one is the five from a long long time ago that nobody remembers anymore. <laughs> The Phi was starting to be a sore eye and I ended up taking it away. I would like to mention that I'm using tempered glass on my phones. With decreasing the amount of smudges on your phones and to be sure to get the 3D version for the 6S. Because you need a special kind of tempered glass for those. Now just showing how beautiful the back of these phones are when they're all together. 
I'll take out this ugly iPhone 5 in a bit. The 6S has some live wallpapers that wasn't in the previous models and I'm just going through a few of them just to show you what they have. You just click on it and it wiggles around. I didn't really want to mention this but I think my fingerprints are like falling off and my hands are like super dry right now for no reason. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. This one sort of looks like the back of a goldfish that's wiggling at you. These look like the back of like the fins of beta fish or the fighting fishes. This cloudish looking one is pretty cool. I like this smoky cloudish looking one too. You have the option to live stream, which I haven't tried out yet. Not all the 6S and the regular 6 cases fit. Like, they're not all the same sizes. I read some reviews how some people stated like, oh, this is a 6S case, but it was really made for a 6. And there were a lot of angry people that wanted their money back. But be sure, so be sure to check out the reviews before you buy any case. The one I have right now seems to fit the 6S and 6 perfectly. I bought them in a pack of like 10 different colors for like $10 on Amazon. <laughs> I just need a bumper case to prevent scratches on the side. The tempered glass does most of the protecting for the screen, 